What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft episode. We are on episode 6 watching that beautiful sunrise in the background over there. Uh, as you can see I've destroyed some more ground. Uh, yes it looks very beautiful doesn't it? Today uh, we have another big plan right? We are going to be doing uh, we are going to be doing the spaceship slash rocket launch area. Uh, we are potentially going to tear this whole building down because honestly it's really ugly and it doesn't really fit with anything that I have built on my test world that actually looks good so we're going to construct what I have built which is a really nice looking launch double launch facility thing R double rocket launch area it's going to look really cool um, so yeah let's get started so we have completed uh, one tower. I've done a little history research, I could say, on uh, uh, what is it? It was a Tesla rocket, and they had these like giant towers in four corners surrounding like the rocket, and these would actually stop electricity from hitting the rocket, or lightning. It would stop lightning from hitting the rocket. So I'm gonna put uh, four of these in the corners. I really love the way this looks. This whole like rocket launch path looks so nice. Uh, yeah, actually like creating stuff in a test world and then coming into an actual game knowing what you want to make is so 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 useful. Uh, I don't know if this is even accurate. This whole middle part, but it doesn't look that bad. I put a uh, little torches on it so it will look nice and clean. It's very big. Like, it looks so nice and modern. We're definitely removing that because it's not going to fit with the style I have for majority of this base. So, base, I guess, so to say. Alright, so that's essentially making those towers. Uh, let's finish the other two since that took stupid long. <laughs> and it has. Boom! And just like that, we finished the towers. They look pretty dope, honestly. I like it being surrounded by this. So next, I think I'm gonna put a fence around here. I didn't actually do this in the test world, but it would make sense for like, there to be like a high security fence so people can't just waltz right in. But yeah, this looks so, 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 so cool. Yeah, we're slowly progressing. This looks so much doper than whatever that is. Uh, I love it so much. We gotta make the uh the satellite dish thing you'll see that looks pretty cool too yeah uh let me uh finish that satellite that's gonna go right there wait actually the satellite's gonna go right here yeah oh all right well i'll be back uh give me a few seconds and you will see it finished because big brain what is going on everybody it has been a few days since uh I last played the server, it looks a little different. I have a webcam, so you kind of get this weird transition where I go from no webcam to me. Hey, uh, if you like the webcam, let me know. But uh, as you can see, some stuff has happened. Uh, I, I really have no idea what's happened, but stuff keeps breaking randomly, and I assume it's a person on the server, but we're not going to name names because it's kind of rude to call people if you don't have any factual proof of it but yeah hey what's up yeah we uh we uh we're here um i have some big updates for you that i have done to uh, improve the guardian farm and all that uh i have a mechanical user which uh hits the guardians for me and i get all the xp and it makes getting prismarine shards or crystals a lot easier because I realized that there's a stupid bug in this game where you have to like load chunks to get stuff to spawn. And uh, yeah, since learning that, uh, it has increased some mob drop rates like watch days. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna climb up here real quick and I can show you what I mean. Yeah, this is a real track. Okay, see all these squids? If I go like this and I run in a circle, you see on the minimap, a bunch of them spawn in just like that. And, uh, yeah, if you just run in circles like this, you get mad squid spawning, so, yeah. And then I'm going to show you the, the super good mob farm. 
Uh, there's one, one major flaw with all these farms. Uh, we also have a massive farm. <laughs> it's gonna be so insane. It's gonna be a creeper spider farm. Although, realistically, it could be anything. But, I have an insane idea for the next farm. But, uh, oh, this was to close before. But yeah, with this one, I have added a ton of storage because I AFK'd overnight here. And, uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff. We got a ton of trophies from doing this. But yeah, these is the, uh, thingy in it that, uh, wax the boys for me. And I get all the loot. So, uh, if you want to get loot and books and stuff like that, uh, you need some grid power. Obviously, it's a zero of zero. That's because it's screwed up. And that would probably help. The major flaw that I have with these systems is that somehow uh, the mobs will get attacked here and they will teleport and try and kill you. It's fantastic because uh, it's very scary, especially if you're AFK and can't do anything. I didn't die from it because I literally enclosed myself in a massive barrier to make sure it didn't happen. But yeah, it's very scary. And once again, they like to blow up stuff, so... Maybe you should just make this whole room out of obsidian. You won't even have to deal with it. But yeah, I got so much, uh... Rotten flesh out of this farm. <laughs> uh... There was four double chests worth of probably about, uh... How long? Probably about a 12-hour AFK session? Maybe? I don't know. That was a while, though. Um, yeah, I had a little sugar cane farm up here too, but as you can see, this thing is a lot more efficient and you don't even have to kill them, so you can just hold your mending stuff. As you can see, I got some fancy gold boots. Uh, if you're wondering why my character looks like this, like the armor, uh, and I am not wearing that armor, is because there's cosmetic armor you can do, so like if I go like this. It makes it invisible. Oh, I guess it makes everything invisible. So if I go like that, you can see the elytra. But yeah, um, I'm trying to get mending armor. It's gonna take me so, 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 so long to get a mending villager. But that is really high on my priority list. But I am going to take you to my main objective. Which is... I need that gold, actually. Dude, we're so low on gold. This is gonna sound so stupid, but like the next part of the video... Uh, what time is it for me? Right now it's 9.16. Alright, so you ready for this? I am going to try and build six more iron farms to just stack the iron farms and make them insane! Bro, it would be so awesome. We'd never have to worry about iron again. That's the thing. Watch this, dude. I one-shot iron golems with this bow. Is that not cool? That's pretty sick, right? I have a feeling like I'm gonna regret yoinking one of these uh, librarians. Just gonna like want him for he's gonna end up being like the mending librarian. And because I didn't yoink his trade soon enough. Alright, I'm actually gonna leave those four there. Like, Alright, so I'm gonna do whatever I need to do and I'll be back when I have all the materials and all that ready. Cool. Boom, so we're here at the fantastic iron farm. I got a bunch of supplies. Those are the villagers. These are all the stone. Um, there's a big problem with doing these is that they have to be 70 blocks away from each other. Which, uh, the spawn chunks are like a 16 by 16 thing. So I have to go 70 blocks. And then I want all the items to still flow to this hopper system. So I have to make a giant water funnel that pushes all the iron golems oh right towards the middle you know it's going to be very interesting building that part but uh yes let's get started i don't think i'm gonna do a time lapse because it's gonna get so 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 repetitive bro okay so i want to do one two yes it's eight so many corners so many iron farms i may remove that i don't know it's a lucky cobblestone block, but yeah, it's uh, gonna be fun. So uh, I'll be back when uh, either I have one done or made some progress of some sort. So yeah. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, we've done a lot. All right. 
All right, you ready for the big reveal? I mean, you can kind of see it. Let's uh, rock it. All right. Yes, you like it? It looks so, oh man. <laughs> I was about to say it looks so clean. But no, yeah, I was worried about this. I just have to extend these out farther. All right, I don't want to hit you, but you go that way. All right, you have a good time. <laughs> you are, you're fine, actually. I, don't worry. I'll take care of it, don't worry about it. I got you, I got you. All right, yeah, we're just gonna extend these out. I was kind of afraid of that. Cause I know that I can hop up here, but I wasn't sure if they were smart enough to jump or what. Yeah, I'm just gonna extend all of these partially. I mean, he can probably still jump up here. It's just slightly hard. Oh, look at that, let's find out. Will he try and get back? It seems like these ones are actually working better than the ones over there, so I might actually have to rebuild them. But uh, let's go check it out so you guys can see it, because it looks really nice compared to the other ones. Like it being a con consistent, constant, eh, same word. Uh, constant, consistent. I don't know what words I want to use. A consistent like layout. And all I'm saying is I built this layer perfectly. Like this is the perfect height. Like build height. <laughs> All right. Yes. Sexy noises, dude. All right. Yeah. See, build height is literally on this block. So. I uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud, honestly. <laughs> it's very nice if I do say so myself. And the whole streamway. It actually looks kind of cool. I haven't seen it from the ground, but. This looks pretty sick. We don't have any more villagers though. So. <laughs> yeah, we can't actually make any more for now. I have to do more breeding. But look at that, dude. They're just pumping out iron golems. Oh, no, he's stuck down there. Yeah, we gotta extend that out. Alright, uh, that's gonna be, I guess, my objective right now. Look at it, dude. This is pumping out iron golems faster than the... Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, uh, fix those too. Oh man, it looks so cool. It looks so clean. It looks so clean. I really like the corners of the little dent in. And that looks pretty nice. Actually having sea lantern to light stuff up is very nice. Very nice. I do say so myself. And Mr. Iron Golem, I am going to shove you. I apologize if you are. Ow! I was hoping. Oh, that actually worked. You have a good, safe boat journey. You as well. I wish you the best of luck. This is this is fantastic. Dude, we definitely have to upgrade the other ones. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this part. Uh, I may come back tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah, it's been weird. I have a lot of footage that I've recorded with Wyatt, but I don't want to just upload like a million videos of Wyatt. I want to space it out so you get a little bit more quality or a little bit more enjoyment. Uh, if you enjoy Facecam, please let me know. Uh, I'm actually just going to end it, yeah. I'll, I'll make more iron farms later on. Uh, it'll probably be maybe a live stream project. Who knows? Maybe I'll live stream again. Uh, I've always contemplated it. I enjoyed streaming. I just got tired of streaming. It got a little exhausting since I was not enjoying what I was streaming. And that's basically my biggest issue is if you're not enjoying it, why well, continue? So taking that break from streaming is very nice. It's been about four months. And uh, if I do stream, you'll see uh, I uh, post, I'll upload. And then in the video that I upload, I'll let you know when the live stream will take place. But yeah, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. And if you didn't, well, let me know why. Uh, but anyways, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.